ng to luciferize. Ah, huwag tayong ma... Huwag tayong mayabang. Kung, tayo, kung sinasabi ng iba na tayo ay... Ah... Uh, ganto, ganto. Kaya sabi ni Jesus Christ, kahit na maganda ang ministry natin, hindi pa rin yan kakayabang. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, sabi ng disciples kay Jesus Christ, Oh! Tumatakas yung mga demons. Pag sinabi na rin tumakas, sabi ni Jesus Christ, Oh! I saw Satan fall out of the head. Rejoice in that, that the same demons obey you. But rejoice hearing that your names are written in hell. Huwag namin pag-rejoice sa mga resort na dahil kinagamit na tayo ng Panginoon. Ang katutuwa lang natin ay tayo ay pwedeng maligtas. And great controversy, dahil sa great controversy, nagkaroon ng flood sa Genesis 6. Dahil matigas ang ulo ng mga tao. They were eating and drinking. Buti na lang, pagkapako ni Jesus Christ sa cross, nung siya na po ay malapit na mga tayo, ang sabi niya, it is finished. Halina, it is finished. Ang great controversy ay tapos na. Alam na, hindi pa tapos. Alam na ang result ng great controversy. Kasi ang great controversy, ang controversy sa great controversy ay ang karakter ng Diyos. Ang law of God is the law of good. Sabi ni Lucifer, hindi. May problema ang law. We have to change something so that we will have more freedom. But God said, God's law is perfect. Pero si Lucifer, may question siya. May question siya. Hindi ang sabi ni Lucifer, ang batas ng Diyos ay hindi masunod. Kailangan natin baguhin. Yan. Kaya. So, dahil maragaling sila para yung mga defend, demonstration na lang. Kung ano yung pangyari, yun. So, napatunayan ng lahat ng mga tao at saka angels and, and other created beings in other planets that the motive of the Satan is to kill. Kasi pinapakaw niya si Jesus Christ ang Cruz. Buti na lang, kahit na nasa gitna kayo ng Great Controversy, alam na ang resulta ng Great Controversy. At si Jesus Christ ang magbawagi according to prophecy. Wala nang pag-aalaman. At pwede tayo kumampi dun sa siguradong minan. At saka si Jesus Christ ay nabuhay dito sa earth. Sabi kasi ng iba, hindi naman ito yun. Ba? Tingnan ninyo ang kalendaryo ninyo. Pumunta ako dito sa, sa Facebook, maraming mga groups. Pumunta ako sa atheist na group. Sinubukan ko mag-witness. Nag-post ako doon. Siyempre, mga atheist sila. They don't only not believe in God, they actually hate God. Okay lang sana if they don't believe. You can teach them. But they, they hate God. Ibig sabihin, God exists. Why do they hate God so much? So I posted there. Sabi ko, nagkawa ko ng post. Meron daw, alam niyo yung Apple na ako, dali niya ako rin. Ang gumagawa niya, Apple Incorporated. So meron daw isang computer na Apple. Naka-display sa screen niya, Apple Incorporated doesn't exist. Mayroon naman ako nag-live. Pero iniisip nila, ibig sabihin nito ang post na ito. Post na rin ako. Meron daw Windows na computer. Alam niyo yung Windows na computer? May pakilan niya. May Windows. Ang gumagawa ng Microsoft Windows ay Microsoft Incorporated. Microsoft Corporation. So, meron daw Windows na computer naka-display sa screen niya. Microsoft doesn't exist. Di ba, ganun niyo yung ATS? Tao pa. Pero sinasabi mo, walang Diyos. Parang Microsoft product pa. Pero sinasabi mo, Microsoft doesn't exist. Or Apple product pa. iPhone pa. Pero nakasulat, iPhone and Apple doesn't exist. Di ba parang gano'n? Tapos nasa pera yung iba. Yung iba na bali. Nung nag-gets nila yung ibig sabi ng post ko, nag-bali ko sila ng napakag... Kaya parang sinasabi ni Jesus sa Bible, do not speak bad words to your neighbor because you will be in danger of judgment. Parang you are killing them. Or siya na kill. Yung pala pag sinabihan nila ako ng napakaraming Evil comments. 200 evil comments. Grabe. Parang namatay ako. Buti na lang, nireselect ako nyo. Parang akong namatay. Parang akong pinatay ng 200 times. Dahil talagang, ngayon ko lang na-realize na 
yun talaga yung mga taong ayaw sa Diyos. Pag nagsalita ka sila, masama. Ay talaga para kang mamatay. Yung sa Eden Birds, comments ka sa Facebook, at hindi ko nga narinig, yung babasa ka lang. So, marami po ako binak. Ganyan yung sa Facebook mo. Pag hindi kayo magka... Uh, magka ano? Magka ano? Magka ano? Hindi kayo magka... Hindi kayo... Hindi lang kayo... Hindi lang kayo... Not friends. Hindi kayo talaga... Lagi kayo magka-contra. Sa lalo mo, ano? Hindi tayo magka-tugma. Gusto mo, i-block mo ako, i-block kita. Kasi pag binak, hindi, they will never see you, you will never see them. It's okay. Di ba? Green up po, gano'n mong green up. Kasi they don't want my ministry. Okay, like it. I have to do my ministry. At least, they will not see me. Yung others, the, the others that are still receptive, they can still see my post. Gano'n lang naman. Di ba? When Jesus was driven away from a town, he just went to the next town. But in Facebook, you can block people and believe you. And continue our ministry. Because our ministry is coming from Jesus Christ and He said, Go into the world. Teach the gospel. Teach all things. Baptize them. Of course, you cannot baptize them in the internet. We have to tell them to go, come to the local and this church. Yan. Kaya, sabi ko sa kanila, isa pang post sa mga atheists. Sabi ko, tingnan niyo yung ano, yung, yung kalendar niyo. What does 24 feet mean? Sabi niyo, that's a date. Ano po, pag inatras niya yan, babalik yan sa 1. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Pag inatras niya, pagkikin niya yung BC. Ano yung ibig sabihin yung BC? Before Christ. O, oh. ibig sabihin, yung 2014, approximate date when Christ was around. Therefore, all calendars are Christians. The calendar itself is a testimony that Christ existed some 2,000 years ago, right? So, there is no atheist calendar. Di ba? Kita bayar dia tu polkini. Tapi, 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 The Rome. Kasi yun ang kasulat sa Bible. And let's go to the museum where there is a data. Yung stone na nakasulat niyo ang bagay sa Bible. You want hard evidence? Let's go to the Holy Land. Sabi nila, no, we will just see sun there. Ganun talaga pa, ayaw sa Diyos. Nandiyan na mismo sa harap mo. Yung evidence. Ang nakikita mo, yung ayaw mong tinyan. Ayaw gusto mo lang makita. Yung ayaw mong tinyan. But there is actually evidence of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, and of course, the greatest evidence here is a changed life. That's the story of gospel changes our life, and that is the best evidence. That's called the experience of salvation when we get baptized. God forgives us from all our sins, praise the Lord. And after that, we continue our sanctification. That's justification, but there is justification. Hindi lang lahat grace, grace, grace. There is a, we have to fight the fight for faith. There is a, Laban. Salvation. We are removing things that are not good for God in our life. And finally, there is glorification. And of course, in John 20, I told you already about, about Moses and Paul. Very, very, ano, grabe yung pagpapapal sa kanilang buhay. Sila ay nakapatay, ngunit sila ang nagpapag ng Ten Commandments na ng Sulit Kaushan ng Q. Sila dati ang nagpapatay, papapatay ng mga missionary, ngayon sila na rin ang pinagahabol. Sila na rin ang sumusulat ng mga new books of the New Testament. Ganyan ang miracle of salvation. And, pag when we get, when we come into the church, when God saves us from our sins, we have to continue ito ang pinakabago fundamental sin ng Seventh-day Adventist Church. Dalawang parts ito, as I observe. Yung unang part, it says that we are not supposed to be afraid of evil spirits because God has overcome them. Nasaan yan sa Bible? Nasa Nasa Romans 8, 38 to 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers Oh, kung kayo ay nakanood ng mga video ng mga Illuminati at saka ng mga fraternity at saka ng mga parang nangyasako. Pero ang message from the Bible, 
we should not be afraid. Because in their powers, wag tayo matatakot sa mga powers ng mga government, powers ng mga evil organizations, secret organizations, because nothing can separate us from the love of God. Yan ang message ng first half ng fundamental belief number 11. At ang half, the other half, is because we are trying to be like Jesus Christ, we have to continue to grow in prayer, in reading the Bible, and doing the mission of the church. Kaya tayo ay matagal na sa church, kaya tayo ay nabasa na natin ang mong Bible, hindi naman natin natanggal lahat. Kaya na, yun nga pala. Sa fundamental belief number one, do you believe the Bible? Yes. Have you read the Bible? Yes. How can we believe something we have not read? Oh, ano? How can you believe something we have not yet read? 100%. That's why we have to read. But, don't worry. We are judged by the light we receive. Okay. But, God says we have to read. For in them, we have eternal life. You think you have eternal life. Search the scriptures, sabi sa Bible. Sabi rin sa audience sa mga students. You want to be intelligent students? Psalm 119.99 says, I am better than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditations. For thy, gusto niyo talunin ang teacher niyo, magbasa lang kayo ng Bible, ng mas marami, kaysa din sa binabasa ng teacher niyo. Pag nagbabasa lang yung teacher niyo, mabuti. But that is the encouragement someone related. And to church, ito ang pinaka-favorite yung topic mga kaibigan. Yung church, mula pa yan, lahat ang naniniwala kay Jesus Christ, kasama sa church. Simula kay Adam, church, ang Adventist din yun. They were looking on the second coming. Kaya Adventist din sila. Pero nung dumami na yung kasalanan, God called uh, Abel to be the remnant. And God called also Abraham to be the remnant ng marami ng kasalanan. God also called, oh, nauna pala si Noah, because people were, for God, God, God called Noah, you are the remnant. And then, gumamang rin kung marami Noah, they were singing again, God called Abraham to be the remnant. And Abraham was a seed, and in, in uh, Egypt, they were ready for God, God, God called the remnant of Israelites, the wilderness, they were, they are getting paid so much, uh, you chicken joy in the mind. Quail. Quail. And uh, others for the remnant who reached uh, the promised land. The Hebrews. And then when the Israelites reached the promised land, started to believe their own customs, teaching for doctrines, their own commandments, God called again the Christians. And their biggest mistake is to crucify the Messiah. So God all again the Christians out, the new remnant, the Christians. And the Christians believe the Bible and the prophets, and including understand, understood the mission. You know the problems of the Pharisees? They, they fast, they pray, they give offering, like many of us. Maybe you don't fast once, once a quarter. But they fast, they, give, they pray, and they give offering, and they study and memorize the Bible. You know what's their problem? They did not do missionary work. So if you fast, you pray, you study the Bible and do that missionary work, you are going to persecute the missionary. Instead. So if you pray, you are not going to do the mission, you are not persecuted. So we have to understand the mission. So when the Christians started to believe their own traditions again, yun. Especially in dark ages, our Bible, yun, nagkaroon ng revival. In the days of revival, in the time of revival, and dyan na yung bumalik na ang mga truths from the Bible. Oh, yung mga pabalik yung mga truths from the Bible, uh, dapat continuous ang, ang progressive ang revelation. Pero ang ating, ang nagtutuloy-tuloy lang na kumuha ng lahat ng mga beliefs ay ang Seventh Adventist Church. Yung Baptist ang nagdila sa mga Baptist. But that's difficult, so we got it. Your method is uh, salvation by grace. But we got that because that's according to the word. 
So we got all the other things that we saw in other people come into our church and we continued, continued. Ngayon, ang tanong, so tayo na yung remnant. Bakit? Because Revelation 12, 17 says, the remnant keep the commandments. Next yan, remnant. The remnant keep the commandments and tayo lang yung Bible na keep all the commandments. Oh, siguro yung ikaw magaya. But we have the testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy. Yung ibang mga religion na nakawag during 1844 and that time, meron din silang tinatawag na spirit of prophecy. Pero punti lang. And they don't keep the Sabbath. So they are, they are not very much characterized as their true religion. But we have all the commandments and we have plenty of testimony. Testimony, volume 1 to 9, buses, that and food, bizarre pages, etc. Diba? So we have the characteristics of the remnant. But we are not remnant for just to be remnant. Meron tayong mission. And our mission, kasi, ah, remnant kami according to the Bible. The Bible describes our movement in prophecy. Kaya, wala ang pagdududa na nasa yun in the right church. But, hindi tayo magmayarap, ha? So, ang buo-buo na lang tayo. We have a mission. Revelation 14, we have to tell the world that judgment is coming, judgment has come, and that there is a second coming. Yan ang mission natin sa Revelation 14. And we are united, even if we have different colors, different nationalities, different gender, different economy, economy, we are rich, we are poor, we are all united. Because the body of Christ, Christ is the head and we are the body. Without being connected to the body, the branches can bear no fruit. And we are all united. Kaya na yung iba magaling, mas magaling mag-gitara, iba magaling mag-piano, iba magaling mag-teach, iba magaling mag-camera, iba, iba iba tayong magalingan. We are different, we are all united in the body of Christ. And of course, we believe in biblical rule of baptism according to the Bible. By the way, lahat ng beliefs natin, according to the Bible. Hindi lang natin minsan nare-review lang kung nasaan yung according. But I assume you, this church, hindi na yung lahat ng fundamental beliefs. Lahat may text sa ilalim. Yan yung accordingness. According. We don't do things because it's not bawal. We do things because it is according to the Bible. You know, the enemy wants to take everything that God prescribes. He tried to take the uh, sac uh, sacrifice, available, can it be? He will try to take Sabbath, Sunday keeping. He will try to take marriage. Ngayon, there are marriage, pareho na laki. O kaya pareho babae. O kaya recently, tatlong babae. How? 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 The enemy wants to fake everything. The enemy will fake music. Oh, God has prescribed music. I will teach you by and by what is God's prescribed music. And then, everything. God has prescribed baptism. The enemy will try to vacuum cleaner na lang kaya. Kasi wala namang tubig. Malinis na. But the enemy will try to uh, fake everything. God, ganun yung kaaway. He wants to fake everything that God's says, kasi gusto niya, sa kanya maniniwala. Doon yung deception. That's why Matthew 24 says, we shall, we shall deceive many. The false prophets will deceive many. That's why we have to review all of our beliefs so that we will not be deceived. And of course, we believe, as Jesus Christ said, we should do the Lord's work when we repent and confess our sins and uh, put ourselves synchronized with God. And then, there are spiritual gifts and ministries. There are so many healing, prophecy, proclamation, teaching, administration, reconciliation, compassion, and hindi ako na nakarelate mga kaibigan. Yan ang pinakamadali. Self-sacrificing service. Madali lang. Tutulong ka lang. Oh, you don't need to know how to preach. You don't need to know how to teach. Just help. And that's how I, the, the, the brothers and sisters were asking me when I was. What is your job? Are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? Ako pa ay nakulog ng mga pastor. And naniniwala tayo sa gift of prophecy. Question mga kaibigan. Ang spirit of prophecy ba ay para sa Adventist lang? Para sa lahat. Marami akong alam ng pastor.
from where that they started to read the Bible because they started to read SOP. So like David Ashley, he started to read Great Controversy and he saw in the Great Controversy, what is this Bible thing that people are dying for? Let me buy one Bible. He bought a Bible. So he wrote not read the Bible because this SOP led him to the Bible. And also the guy, amazing class, Pastor Rowan Hagrid is here. He was debating with his teacher in Southern Adventist University. The senior of doctor, pero napunta siya sa isang school na may required um, life and teachings of Jesus. Ang textbook nila, the Sacred Pages. Ay ayaw niya mag-take ng anything about Christianity. Pero he has no choice. Ginibati na yung kanyang teacher at saka he read the Sacred Pages quickly para mag-take niya yung kanyang teacher. Tapos, tanong-tanong siya ng great Sacred Pages. Siya ay naging ang Buddhist. And we all to believe in the law of God, of course, our children and us, we memorize all of this. Thou shalt not kill, but Jesus says, do not also say bad things to your neighbor. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not uh, commit adultery, but do not also look at your at ladies with lust in their eyes, because you are committing adultery with them in your heart. Yan. Kaya, ang mga people who really love God, they are careful how they dress, di ba? Because, hindi lang yung mga lalaki ang nagkukumit na jordari when they look on the ladies with lust na nakasulat sa Bible, with them in their heart. So, pati yung ladies, you are included in the jordari. Because the men cannot commit a jordari by themselves. Di ba? Can you commit a jordari by yourself? Of course not. So, the law of God, we memorize that, especially the Sabbath. Ayan. The Sabbath is a test to the Israelites, di ba? In the one days. The Sabbath is a test now to God's children. The Sabbath will be a test in the future. The mark of the beast or the sin of God. Now, let us focus. I am going to say something very hard. And I am praying to God that God will help me understand. Friends, I want to be faithful to what is said in the Bible and the spirit of prophecy and also in the Adventist website. The Sabbath, we were preaching in Mindoro, most of you. Sabi ko rin, bakit nandito ito slide na ito sa presentation ng Martin? Dari sa ASD. Bawal na magluto pag sabi ko! I grew up in an Adventist school, nagabi. Sabi nila, sabi ng iba natin teacher, of course, maybe they don't know. Or, sabi nila, noon lang yan kasi mahirap magpapoy noon. Ah, see, I thought it's okay. I read in the SOP, but my friend was preaching, you should not do for seven, you should not do for seven. So I was debating with him, really? Let me research. Before I talk, I want to read in the Bible, yes. Do not read. I cannot find anybody cooking in the Sabbath in the Bible. In the Spirit of Prophecy, I read your sister my food. And she added, you shine your shoes before Sabbath. Etc, etc. Et you iron your clothes before Sabbath. You take a bath before Sabbath. Ah, <laughs> naramit. <laughs> I tried that, it's not good. <laughs> but I'll explain to you later. I went to the SO and to Adventist that first. Because if that explanation is true, there has to be a document, right? There has to be a document. Kung totoo, pwede magluto ng sabado, dahil mas mahirap noon, mas tapoy ng tapoy, there has to be a document. If it's not written, it's not there. I look at the Adventist that first website in the biblical research, Adventist Biblical Research, I cannot find anything that permits to be on Sabbath. How? Ah, ibig sabihin, kuro-kuro lang yun. Kasi hindi nakasulat. You know, when you preach to the Bereans, they don't believe you instantly. They will learn for writing first. Diba? Bereans. And according to the Bible, that's a good attitude. So I look in the Bible, bow. I look in the SOP, bow. I look in the Adventist tower, I did not find cooking there. But I found in the guidelines for Sabbath cooking. Of course, the gasoline, the fuel, the diesel you put before Sabbath. If you are going to travel, you get the ticket before Sabbath. But you know, energy might travel, she bought ticket during the Sabbath. Because they had no chance to buy before the Sabbath. And that was the church. Trip. And according to Adventist Network, if you are going to excursion, 
to non-religious destination, you cannot use the hours of the Sabbath because you have seen it Sabbath night, Saturday night. So you have to wait. Actually, the Bible is very strict. Do not talk, uh, do not think your own thoughts or say your own words or go your own directions. Isaiah, you know? on the Sabbath. So back to thinking about the Sabbath. Canada lunch. How do we understand not cooking and thinking about? But that's a whole. You are thinking about. No one can hold some emotions. But if you go to hell, that will be just the Mount Sinai. Actually, this is a really good one, buddy. Sabi niya ni Jemai, you should take about two times a week. Oh, sa atin. <laughs> Three times a day niya. <laughs> And the warrior ako nakita ang nagtutok brush sa Bible at saka sa SOP. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila nagtutok brush. <laughs> Bakit tayo ito brush ang tutok brush? Pero sa atin yun, dadami ang testiness, ang sicknesses. So, kaya tayo hindi ko nang nito kasi may sakit tayo dito. <laughs> Dito. Ang sakit natin ay bad odor and bad breath. Kaya si, si Moses din ang tutup brush kasi hindi pa yan. You know the balance of the microbiology in our skin. The good bacteria and the bad bacteria, when they are balanced, no problem. But now everything is unbalanced. We have to think about many times. And energy white says, you have to take care of the sick and they are sick. Ang sick natin, bad breath, at saka bad odor. So, we have to take care of ourselves, di ba? Cleanliness. Kaya yung mga nurse, doctor, pwede sila mag-duty pag Sabado. But Ellen Joy says, the sweat go on Sabado is not yours. You use it for missionary things. Oh, nakita nyo na yan si SOP? Ayan. Paano yung cooking? Alam ko mga kapatid, I know this is hard because in the Philippines, it is a challenge. In Africa, no. They know they're not supposed to go on Sabado. In other countries, yes, they know. But in the Philippines, very few people have been teaching us correctly. But God is restoring the truth to His, to his church. I know you want to follow. We know the truth, I all know, SLP, no? And it is the word, it says, buying and preparation of food should be done before the Sabbath. So, they are all alive. But some people can tell you, In Deuteronomy or in Judges, it says, on the seventh day, everybody is not supposed to work except that for food. Yun yung pakasin. But if you count that in context, if you go back, the seventh day is not the seventh day of the week. It is the seventh day of a feast. Therefore, it doesn't contradict with mana time, AGY time, and Adventist that all. So, alay niya lahat. We are supposed to prepare our food before Sabbath. You know, feast na sila sabi, na seventh day, hindi yung seventh day na week, seventh day na feast. So I know, friends, fellow brothers and sisters, that you want to follow God. But you don't know how, di ba? We need examples. So I will give you an example. We were, seven, I think, four weeks ago, or one month ago, or two weeks, two months ago, I was at IAS Student Services Conference of Adventist universities and colleges all around the world. And our vice presidents for, uh, for student services were there. NBC, Oakland, etc. Thailand, Wadao, uh, La Sierra, Andrews. They were all there. Many of them were there. Yung president of uh, Oakland University, Adventista, Adventista Oakland Universitas, Indonesia. He has a PhD in theology from IAS. He says, In our campus, you cannot jog in on Sabbath. The guards will run after you if you jog on Sabbath. Why? Because jogging is sports. Sports for you jog. We know we need to keep you to help you become healthy. But if we allow jogging, we should also allow badminton. Because badminton also makes you healthy. So they classify jogging and badminton the same. And we cook all our bayon before Sabbath. Who? 6,000 students? Can you cook before Sabbath? Bayan? Huwag yun lang silang pansyawal na yung wise nila yung buto pa nila sa Sabbath. Pero yung ura nila ka, our friends, lahat buto na before Sabbath. 6,000 yata students. It is possible. Kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, may paraan. 
That's all. So, I, mean, I know you want to follow God, but you just need examples. Another example. When I was telling God in YouTube, I in Facebook, and in the church in Haiti, the wife, the, the wife of the vice president for student services, Mang Paris, who is also from Nagar, where I, I grew up, sabi niya sa akin, Vin, si Nana Ula, one of your teachers in high school, when she retired, she became a missionary in some Palau Island somewhere. And she tried to follow that. She said it's possible. She was the matron of the cafeteria, the boss in the cafeteria. Walang kumiyente din mga kapatid. What they did to preserve the heat, the food, they dug a hole in the ground, they put the food there in the morning, it's still hot, still warm. I don't know how, but it is possible, you know? And I have also many friends in IAS who don't like to travel on Sabbath, don't like to on Sabbath and the pastors, but they are not very vocal. But because there is hard truth, it's difficult. It's not the central thing of our church. But this will be the test. This was the test in in, in the manna time. Sabi ni Diyos, I will test you. Do not get manna on Sabbath. You get all the manna on Friday. When they went out, sino pinagalitan? Si Moses. So it is a test. And it will also be a test in the end of time. In fact, if this is the seal of God, the Sabbath keeping is the seal of God, we must make sure that the seal is very clear. Diba? Ayan. Sabbath. So, may example pa ba tayo? So, you know, before, you, my friend was preaching this, and I was criticizing him. Now, I am preaching it, and the people are criticizing us. But now, in Ayas, in a student services conference of all the Adventist universities and colleges, Somebody, I was wondering, I was praying, Lord, can I ask this difficult question in this conference? You know, this is not a theological conference. So, I was waiting for the Lord to give me signal when to ask the question. But the preacher went straight. He presented the book of the universities. He said, Lord, you don't need the Lord to ask questions. The messenger already said it. And it is said in an institution, so it's not something uh, fanatics do. It is actually a truth that, that God is bringing back to the church through many people he is using. Hay na yung pananamit. Noon, ang hirap ng preach na dapat mahaba, tama ang haba ng damit sa church. Ngayon, we got tired of preaching that, or people got tired of listening to us. Yun ang kalagkala ni si Sandra Seifer. She, she was a model. I was wondering, how come she is pretty, she's her clothes are all like any white clothes in the pictures? Ang aaba, sabi sa niya galing yung mga dalit na Because most of our friends, girls, ladies, who are our sisters in the church, they said, there is nothing correct to them in the world. All of them are too sure. I was wondering, I was asking our friends, saan na nagawa yung mga dalit niya? She designs her own. And she gives lecture in the church. What is the correct way? Oh. So God is using this older model to bring back the, the truth to the church. God is using different people. He used my friend of He used, uh, of course, the Bible, the SOP, and the Adventist Network. And then he used also the Hayas. Now I'm not afraid because it was preaching. So that is the truth. And we have to know. Because let us just forgive all our teachers who did not know before. Meron yung magtatanong dyan. Yung effort, sir, yun eh. Kasi noon, mahirap mo. But it's not the effort I, pro I propose. Because when God created the world, He did not forget to prepare food before Sabbath. Preparing food for God is no effort. Imagine He can create the world by just saying, He can just say, let there be food. And He cooked on Sabbath. He did not. When Sabbath came, there was already food. Even if it was no effort for God. Voice command. So voice command. Ayah, sabi ko sa mga friends ko. Yung rice cooker. Oh, by the way, God, just, uh, LNG White also says, it is not God's will that His children eat warm, uh, cold food in the Sabbath. So we are permitted to warm. We are advised to warm our food. So pwede mag warm. Hindi lang pwede mag food. Uh, <laughs> According to SOP. So, sabi ko sa friends ko, yung rice cooker, gano'n yung warm-up sa house. 
memainkan itu. Last two verses. You know, brutal, they will not go to heaven. Do not be deceived. Brutal people, unmerciful, they will not go to heaven. So, bawa tak ada unboxing. Iu mana pun. Di mana nak lagi? Nak lagi sah last verse na Romans one. Not only them that do, but also them that have pleasure in them that do them. Oh, so if you are happy because somebody is doing it, bersama ka. Sejauh ini Romans one kat itu. So di mana Romans one, the last two verses, di mana close your eyes and even turn your ears away from even, and di mana yang your body is the temple of God, and you are created in God's image. And of course, if you want the SOP, just type boxing. It just says it is bad. Tell you, no, that one. And of course, so I'm filtering that in for our entertainment, your movies, your MP3, your music, your entertainment, your TV, your advertisement, your news. Lahat na pumapasok sa ating senses, ang filter ay by word. It should be true. Bawal na dyan ang topic book na fiction. Honest, bawal na dyan ang dayan. Just, bawal na dyan ang mga crime. Pure, bawal na dyan ang ikulaga at saka ang masyotan. At saka video ke. Alam niyo ba bawal ang video sa atin? Hindi ko rin dati alam. Napakaraming wala pa ng kasalanan. Kanta ako ng kanta doon sa karamba. Pumunta kami sa Boys of Youth sa Middle World. Ako yung picture. Nung magbibinyag na, sabi ng pastor, kung nakayong pumunta ka sa video, okay? Sama ko yun? Bakit kaya? Isip-isip, huwag pala yung mga picture kasi sa likod ng lyrics. Impure! Diba? Ano yung pure? Natama. O yung modest. First Peter 3. It should be modest. It should be modest at all. Ano yung definition ng modest sa length of dress? Ito, hindi ko dapat. This is not the basket. These are just things that people who love God want to do. And we have to instruct. Because the Bible says, teach all things. Diba? The Great Commission, go ye therefore, teach all things. The all things is now. Kaya, I want to teach all things. If you want to know the length of dress, that is correct. Some of you don't know, that's why like that, you saw in TV in the mall, or you don't have a chance to select correctly because you didn't know. God forgives you if you don't know. But if you want to know, because you love God, you want to follow what God wants. Energy White says that there are three kinds of length of dress. The other one is wrong, the other one is also wrong, the leader is correct. Yung other one, pag lakad mo sa street, nalilinisan yung street, mahaba-mahaba, mawawalisan lahat. That is wrong. Yung isang wrong, kapos sa tuhod. And the judge says, no question, that is too sure. So pag kapos pa na sa tuhod, it is too sure. Yung iba, ito hindi nyo naman alam eh, dati. God will blink there in his eyes. I have to tell the truth, even if you don't like me. You chase me away. So, yung sakit na, yung iba kasi, pag nakaupo, pag nakatayo, nagpas. Pag nakaupo, tapos na. Yung minsan naman, nakita ko pagal, kagabi. Pag nakaupo, nagpas. Pag nakatayo, tapos. May kabalikta na nito yun. Pero para safe, mga kapatid, if you love God, and you want to bring it to follow the Holy Spirit, the SOP is from the Father, the Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, to the prophet, and the Jewel. If you want to follow God, You want to make sure it's correctness. Dapat lang yung lang sa tuwag, whether or any position. So, the top two men is close. Okay. Very rich in the family, mabuti na lang may Bible. Sabi sa Bible, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. If they are not in the Lord, respect na lang. Diba? Respect your parents. Six, half, ilang commandments yun. Hindi tayo commandments. Respect. Whether or not they are in the Lord. But when they are in the Lord, obey. So, po pa rin. Po, kahit na mali. Mabuti na lang, ang Seventh-day Adventist Christian parents namin, they are most of the time in the Lord. Amen. Because they love to read the Bible and the Spirit of God. And husbands, love your wife as the love as God loves the church. Ephesians 5. And wives, 
Ano ang number sa akin? Andre? D? B? Subject ba yun? What is the term? Submit to your husbands. And of course, we believe in Christ's ministry. May have a list for it? The 2,300 days, 1844. Even if we did not believe, akala namin 1844 second coming na. You know the attitude we are supposed to have when we found ourselves theologically wrong is to see we should continue to study. No 1844, marami na expect ayaw na nila. Ayaw na buwasan pa yun, balik naman pa rin, pahit na eh. Pero pag tayo na discovery natin, tayo wala yung balik, kailangan natin magpatuloy mag-aral. Because God will continue to give truth. So yung magpatuloy mag-aral, si the energy wire, ay pinigyan pa ng life ng Diyos. Because that book was closed, it was sweet to the mouth, but bitter to the belly, according to Revelation. And you only have one denomination who has that experience in Revelation. That's why that proves that you are in the, wrong, in the correct church. So, of course, we believe the second coming, which is imminent. I look the imminent in the dictionary. It, it is almost to happen. Malapit na malapit na talaga. And of course, we believe that there is a death. When you die, you are sleeping. You are not roaming around. And there is a resurrection that will take a thousand years later. If you type 6,000 in your EGY, you will find out that the 6,000 is Satan's demonstration of the great controversy on earth. Pag binilang niya ang edad ng taon ng mundo, pinag-plus ng lahat ng mga edad ng taon sa Chronicles at saka sa New Testament. Makikita natin, 6,000 years ay tapos na sa inspiration. So bakit may delay? Why does the bride need delay? And the joint says, because he does not want anyone to perish, that all will come to repentance. That's why we have to tell the world. And of course, we believe that the 1,000 years in heaven, so 6,000 years in heaven, 1,000 years in heaven. Nasaan na tayo? Atun! Malapit na, lampas na, halos sa pagitan. And that means, talagang malapit na mga kapatid. One more thing, na talagang malapit na mga kapatid. Let me find the picture. Yung mga Protestants at saka yung mga I cannot find the picture No, 1995, yung mga Methodists ay yung mga Methodists, sabi nila we are united with the Catholics Noong 2000, yung Baptists sabi nila, the protest is over We are also united now And last 3 months ago, 2 months ago the Evangelicals said our protest is over According to According to the great controversy and other parts in the SOP, as Energy White says, the first to embrace the papacy will be the Protestants of the United States. And kaka, sabi lang, yung matagal lang pala, secret lang, hindi natin nagaraman, hindi natin nagaraman, they are not Protestant anymore. Their protest is over. Yung Baptist, they are not Protestant anymore. Their protest is over. Yung Evangelicals na lang, Several months ago, sabi, our protest is over. How about you? Sabi nila, we will also finish our protest. We are coming home. So they are now coming home to the Catholic Church. Sino na lang ang protestan? Tayo na lang. Pero hindi. No, nahihiya. Ang protest. Ang protestan. So that means, friends, that really the end is near. If you look at the financial world, if you look at the natural world, the calamities, sometimes people will say, ginawa niya ng heart. May nagpins na magdito ng dalawa. Heart. And then Jewel says, these calamities are beyond the control of humans. So yung heart, heart, ng conspiracy theory, that is in contradiction with what the SOP says. The calamities are beyond the control of humans. Daddy, God! Daddy, God! Daddy, God! Daddy, God! Daddy, God! Daddy, Okay, okay. Okay, 27 pa lang pala. Of course, there is the new earth and no more night, no more day. Okay. Now, pag 
tinignan natin mga kapatid itong table of contents ng, ng last day events. Makikita natin dyan sa dulo. Minsan mga kaibigan, maraming masabing chismis sa church. Paano kaya magkakaroon ng pure church in the end? Napakaraming chismis. So sabi ko, hindi ko na natin tingnan yung kare. Titingnan ko yung dulo ng prophecy. See, I was, I was perplexed. I heard many chismis. Bad things happening in the church. How can we understand these things? So I just never heard your mind. I will just look at the end of prophecy. In the end of biblical earth, timeline prophecy, Jesus is coming soon and coming for a pure church. The pure woman. The pure church. The pure church means every doctrine, practice, present, teaching is according to the world. That's the contradiction of the uh, heart of woman, the heart of church, that it is hard because their teaching is not from the Bible. It's from their own hapa-hapa traditions and opinions. That's why napakahalaga ang accordingness. God's prescription is very important. Prescription in sacrifice, prescription in ordination. We have to pray for our church because some of our members are trying to include unprescribed ordination. Did you find a woman priest in the Bible? Did you find a woman elder in the Bible? I don't know if you can find. But the safest is what is prescribed. An elder should be married with children who are not happy. Who are not talo-talo. Uh, so, ganun. Ang mga prescribed sa Titus. And we have to follow. But God is returning the church, the truth to the church. So I look at the end of prophecy. It is sure Jesus is coming back for a pure church. That means I don't have to hold it. It's not my problem that the church is not pure. It's God's problem. So if Jesus Christ is coming for a pure church, I mean church yun. Anong kayo ng church na pinakasukos sa survival? Wala nang iba. Kaya nga tayo dito eh. Wala nang iba. Eh bakit maraming hindi sumusunod? Meron silang unprescribed music. Unprescribed coordination, unprescribed babies, unprescribed food, food. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mamaya, mamaya pa yung food. No. Marami! Ang nakasulat dito mga kapatid, sa Satan's, ano, uh, God's last day church. Nandito yung explanation ng aking katanungan. Sa dulo, meron. Bakit ngayon parang meron na hindi yan? So, I read this chapter. Ay, mga sulat dyan, they keep His commandments, they have the testimony of Jesus, okay, we have that. They're not part of the biblical doctrines, okay, all of our fundamental beliefs are from the Bible. The distinctive vision, okay, we are doing evangelism. Results, okay, we are organized. Organization will be essential. We cannot make a disorganized church. Sabi yung iba, organization is not essential. What the prophet says, organization is essential. If you want to be a false prophet, you can say that. But, and God has special authority in the church, but there is a time of spiritual weakness and blindness in the church. It happens. And there is also an abuse of power of the church headquarters, GC, the other perfect, according to Lenji White. And some of the leaders are not wise. They speak for themselves. They are not perfect. You know why? But a new denomination is not needed. We don't need to reorganize another church. That's what the prophet says. Even if she acknowledges there are problems, she clearly says a new denomination is not needed. If somebody suggests this, just read NDE chapter this one. God will set everything in order. Praise the Lord. Not be from solution. Marami man tayo narinig sa chismis. Marami man tayo nakikita ng problema. Marami man tayo nakikita ng practices. And it joins us. There is no doubt that God's word will succeed. He will set everything in order. If it, it matters, uh, if matters need adjusting at the head of the world. Oh, yung pa nito. For our leaders, I want to learn, you will be adjusted by God. If matters need adjusting to the leadership or head of the world, God will attend to that. God will adjust the leaders if they don't want to follow. And work to right every wrong. Praise the Lord. God is going to clean the church. God is going to make the church members correct. Following the Bible and the SOP. God is going to set everything in order. 
Praise the Lord. Now I understand. So, very clear. God will set everything in order. And I think God is setting things in order. That's why God is uh, restoring the truth. This distribution of responsibility is ours. That's why we have many officers in the church. And the general conference responds positively to what Ellen White says. And there is confidence in SDA organization affairs. You will all shoot. I'm going to announce that I'm going to go to the Oh, there is abuse. Oh, therefore, we are apostate. But they don't want to read the next paragraphs. That the confidence in the NS at certain analysis or organization must be affirmed by Ellen G. White. And that there is no need for new organization. So, we need revival. Sabi ni Ellen G. White, the church appears as if it will fall. But it will not. If you believe Ellen G. White is a prophet, you are sure that the church will not fall. Yung kaibigan natin sa NPC. Nag-post siya. United we stand, divided we fall. Mom, sorry ko. Ang church has no fall according to SOT. Sabi niya, you are right. And then he says, it will appear to fall as if it will fall, but it will not fall. In Bible, it says, God will come, Jesus will come for a pure woman. But the enemy doesn't want a pure woman when God comes. But nevertheless, when God comes, there will be a pure woman, and that will be the ceremony of the church. What will happen to the people who do not want to follow? Oh. She says also somewhere in this chapter, the sinners in Zion will be sifted out. Are they sifted out? So ang lumalabas sa church, yung mga may kasalanan ayaw give up. Hindi yung mga basa ng basa ng SOP ang lumalabas sa church. Kaya pag lumabas kayo sa church, nag-option, inaamin nyo na kayo yung sinya sa mga sabi. Di ba? Yan ang mga sinya sa SOP. So pag nag-option tayo, kayo yung sinya. Kasi sabi sa process, ang lalo mas yung sinya. Somewhere else in SOP it says, those who do not believe the testimonies, Sunday, we can also not believe the Bible. Oh, we have to be careful. So we have to believe. But God is very patient. We are the apple of God's eye. He is looking at us. What can I help the church? Because I have to prove that we can serve in the commandments of God. And God will work with those who are faithful in Him. And we are judged by the right that has been restored to us. You know what you do there? Energy Wife talks positively about what you do there. Even if she, he was not a Sabbath keeper. Somebody in history asked Martin Luther, what about Sabbath? Sabi Martin Luther, para hindi magulo, sabi mo lang. But, God overlooked the offense because Energy Wife says it was not the present truth at the time. Hindi ka malinaw. But now, malinaw na. In fact, there are 11 million 100,000 people who type what is the Sabbath in Google every month. Praise the Lord. The first page, first 10 results in Google are all from Seventh-day Adventist. God has restored the truth about Sabbath. So we are judged by the light uh, <laughs> and we are warned that we should not become like Israel. Israel's history are warning to us. That's why I was telling you about the cooking on Sabbath. Because the history of Israel, they did not go to the promised land because they were cooking on Sabbath. They were eating uh, chicken joy. No, quail joy. Quail. Is quail clean or unclean? Clean. But God gave them vegetarian manna. But they can't have them either. There is a prescribed diet. Of course, if you are in the art, there is no food. You can eat the, the cows. But when we are surrounded by very nice vegetables, like right India, Mama Yang, because we have to teach it nicely, not uh, like critics. 
The church is imperfect. You know why there are many problems in the church? In Jiva it says that there are many evils in the church. But God will set everything in order. The people who don't want to follow, they will be shifted out. But the faithful in the church militant, church militant is tired. Church militant is imperfect. The church militant is imperfect. We are not the church triumphant yet. The faithful of the church militant will become the church triumphant. That's why friends, brothers and sisters, be faithful. And in Jemite himself, the angel said to her, if you are faithful, prophet in her vision in heaven, she wants to taste of the grapes because the grapes are very glorious. She wants to taste of the grapes. But the, the, the tour guide in heaven said, the grapes, the glorious grapes is not for, is for people, the, the people who eat that, they don't go back to earth, they stay here. You, your mission is to tell people to be faithful. If you are faithful, you can eat later of the grapes. Kahit pa kayong prophet, she has to be faithful. That means even if you think you are a prophet, or enjoy yourself, the greatest prophet for this time, has to be faithful. Therefore, if the prophet has to be faithful, how much more all of us have to be faithful? But the nice assurance is that God will set everything in order. The church triumphant will be faithful and Christ like. Now, I will just go a little bit to the Mga kapatid, ito yung dito sa dulo, inheritance of the saints. Tapos, before that, is Christ's return. No problem because the cross of creation is finished. When the cross of creation happens, the good will be good, the bad will be bad. No more conscientia. No more backsliding, no more revival. So, we are not supposed to be worried about the second coming. Our worry should be supposed to be the cross of creation. Because the cross of creation, the bad will be bad, the good will be good. No more change for of course, after the close of probation, the seven last steps will fall on the weekend, but the seven last steps will not eat the righteous, like in what happened in Egypt. <laughs> so, when the close of probation happens, energy wise says we don't know when. But it will be receiving, I think, somewhere near the Sunday law. And you know the Sunday law now is already in the books. But kunti kunti binabalik. It has been cracked. Binalik na kunti kunti under the cover of the books, in the books of the land. Pinini prepare. Pero binadahan dahan yung public. Una sa sabi, kasi na sa mga senyes niya. Sana sabi ng po. Sana lahat ng tao ng Pilipinas kaya sabi. It's good for family. Kaya kaya sabi na. Sana you know working on something is not good for Christians. They have the rest. Oh, konti konti. Mamaya, sana ipagbawal yung bukas na tindahan pag Sunday. Okay lang yan sa atin, di ba? Okay, nabitigay na nila ng lahat ng rest ng Sunday. Pero hindi pa naman bawal pag Sabado. Mamaya, mamaya, sabi nila, sana lahat ng tao mag-rest pag Sunday. Bawal mag work, no, no business. Okay. And then, later, sana Lahat ng tao pupunta sa church pag Sunday. Oh, malapit na. <laughs> and then says, when the time comes, you go to your church on Sunday and you do community work. Or you teach. No problem. Paul was teaching Sabbath until the next day. You can teach till Sunday. But you still come to church Sabbath. So that you will, you will not annoy the authorities. Pero may susunod ba doon? Sana dapat lahat na lang, Sunday lang, ang ipapangin. Yun ang problema natin ng mga pangin. Nandun na. Ano na? Malinaw na. Okay. The seal of God is the Sabbath. In Sikhar 2020, in Sikhar 2020, it is but a sign between you and me. Perpetual sign. And the mark of the beast is not the computer, the microchip, the barcode, or the RFID as some people have tried to understand. But the mark of the beast is disobedience to God. First of all, you have to identify the beast. Sino yung beast? According to Revelation, there are hills, 
pero que no vamos a history, pero revival, etc. The beast, all Protestants agree the beast is the Catholic Church, or the papacy. Sabi nila yung mark nila ay Sunday. Therefore, clear, the mark of the beast is Sunday. Will be Sunday during the, uh, no, during the Sunday day. Okay, now that is clear, ang ito. Pag tinuro, pag nagturo pa siya tayo ng mark of the beast ay bako, kaya ayon ay ito. Ang iiwasan mo yung bako, hindi yung Sunday day. Eh, uh, according to the Bible, the mark of the beast, the beast and the mark. Yes, yung number of the beast, iba pa yun. Sabi kasi nila, yung number of verse 66, pwede rin daw yung RNG1. But you cannot say that because you have to identify the beast first, then you identify the number. And the is not the beast. Then you have to identify the beast, and if you read, the 666 is the number of the name of the beast. So you just identify the beast, you list all these names, and you try to sum all of their Latin characters, Roman numerals, and you will find it. It just verifies who is the beast. And, man, before that, there is a loud cry. I think it is happening now. That's why our GC spent one million pesos for whole 2014 Manila. Not one million pesos. One million dollars. One point two million dollars for whole 2014 Manila. That's not a two week event. That's a one year preparation and groundwork and culminated in several Araneta Puneta Museums, right? So, and it is happening. So, after this, they went next, they went next, they went next, they are from New York, and they are doing it all around the world, and so many evangelists. I think it is now right now. In fact, I'm going to go through the dates of all of this. That's why in the timeline, they are all in one column. And the lottery, the lottery, of course, sabi niya, it's right, yung mabubusan ng lottery, yun lang nabuusan ng former rain. Oh, kaya atin na natin lahat ng, ng church services para lahat ng klase ng rain ng Holy Spirit ay masasalo natin. Lahat ng revival, lahat ng evangelism, pupuntahan natin yan. And the shaking. Bakit nagkaroon ng shaking? Ang malalag lang dito yung nag-deceit, nag-deceit sa Satan's last day deceptions. Sino ang mag-deceit? Yung hindi alam ng doctrines. Yan. That's why I put to you the doctrines. Now, what does the remnant do? Uy! Wala ko na na pala. Okay, bibilisan na lang natin ito. I think I said too much of it. The remnant are not lazy, they occupy, they live their day as, as if it is last day, and then they are conscientious Sabbath observant. God is going to bring back the Sabbath observants. Faithful in tithes and offerings, they establish the institutions, they do medical missionary work, they value their health. And, yan, the last point. They return to the original value. Yan po. They return to the original value. In prophecy. And, there is a time for fasting and praying. And their entire trust in God. They have family worship. And their guard in association with the world. Their recreation that Christ approves. I said that already. And music that elevates. One more. Marayo kasi. Yung music, there is no problem in this church, I think. But if, if some people trouble you with music, you want to know the heavenly music? There's only one person below who heard the heavenly music. That's Sister Barbara, Sister Ellen Hoy. She, when, when she had vision about heaven, she saw the heaven worshiping. And you sing, yung songs sa heaven na nakita niya. That's the songs she wants to teach her family and her church. So, the EGY State Talent Director, he compiled all the songs that EGY was teaching, and James White was teaching, and the family was teaching. And you copy the style. And I praise the Lord, this church sings that kind of style of heavenly music, according to SOP. So very easy, no more delay, because you uh, you hear some, they did not see heavenly music. You gave them, some of them have heavenly music. Your faith first, they did not see heavenly music. And if you want some heavenly music, and if you want a clear interpretation, you come in their style. Let's forgive them, they did not know. Like us before. Korean, no, I hear you. Television and the theater, yes. And you just 
lock your channel to 45. No problem. There's an adjustment in this. Okay, the need for publications. So, yun po ang kalahatan ng last three events. Actually, yun yung kalahatan. A small view of what we are supposed to do, what God requires us to do in this last three events. Because time is really short. Time is really short. If it was short before, it is short now. So, uh, we will just pray for the closing and let us pray. My Father in heaven, we thank you Lord for the truths that you have given to our church. We thank you for the prophets who have beaten for a sister who have been faithful to write according to your will. We thank you Lord for this church for being patient to listen to your word. We thank you for the salvation that you want to give us. That is our biggest, the biggest thing that we can thank you Lord. Thank you for healing and answering our prayers. Please give us wisdom and understanding Lord to live as you have written into the prophets to do your mission of the church Lord. Thank you for everything you have just in the church.